Hey Sagittarius, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a general reading for you guys. Um, if it doesn't resonate for you, just take whatever resonates. Well, just take whatever resonates for you and leave what doesn't for the others. All right. So your situation right now, you got the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. All right. So walking away from something that you love, someone that you love. Um, it could be a long-term situation. It could mean that you were in a job forever that you really loved, but now you're like kind of walking away. Something that you love and spent a lot of time and energy on. It could also be a career or whatever it is. It's like, but you're walking away towards something else, all right? Your challenge, <clears throat> I'm gonna take both. It's the Two of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Um, your challenge is like kind of, Maybe you're waiting for an offer to come in from somebody. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, um, Gemini. But I feel like you might be also waiting for like an apology from someone, okay? You're waiting on some type of communication from somebody. And I feel like it's not happening. But you think the Ace of Swords... <laughs> Okay, there's some type of truth, or somebody's going to speak some type of truth, some type of communication you know needs to happen, okay? So maybe somebody's not speaking something. Maybe somebody's not speaking how they feel, holding back, you know what I mean? In your past, the chariot, and the tower. Alright, so somebody left because it got too hard. Something wasn't working out, it blew up, and it had caused you guys to have to, you know walk away. I feel like that's what the Eight of Cups is. It's like your recent past, I'm pretty sure. It might have to be the same thing. It might not. For your future, you have the Ten of Wands. It's like, it's almost over. Whatever burdens, whatever stuff's on your shoulders, whatever stuff you're carrying, all the responsibilities, all the stress, it's like the Ten is almost over. The Ten is one plus zero equals one, so that's a new beginning. So it's like an ending and a new beginning all at once, especially with the Ace of Swords here. This also may be a promotion coming in for you, but if not, it's just saying that, you know what I mean, um, you're basically on top after like going through a whole bunch of like stuff, right? <clears throat> it never got you down. And then for you, you have the three of swords. This is saying disappointed, broken hearted, stabbed in the back or stabbed in the heart. Somebody didn't treat you right. Somebody didn't, or you didn't get what you wanted, okay? Or something's in the way of what you wanted to get. I'm not going to tell that. The situation that you're in is the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, feeling stuck in your emotions, not in your emotions, in your thoughts. You could also be just, you know, having a lot of doubts or worries, um, <clears throat> but that's something that you can fix. Also, the Hermit, maybe you're feeling trapped inside yourself, trapped because maybe you're stuck in some type of situation. Um, maybe you're not sure of what's going to come and that's worrying you or you don't know what you want and that's worrying you but i feel like with the hermit card this is saying that you need to go deep down within yourself and really find out um even meditate really find out what it is that you need um you can meditate to the question and you know even if that would take you a couple times to get the answer you know the best place to go is within yourself okay actions and advice the two of pentacles you're doing too much I feel like you're juggling a lot, right? And it's something that keeps on going over and over and over, all right? And the Four of Cups is also like a missed opportunity card. This is a lot of cards I feel like. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, four of, Two of Pentacles, and Ten of Swords. Definitely an ending of uh, uh, some type of like stressful situation, right? But I feel like with your actions and advice, it's saying, you know, sometimes you just got to concentrate on one thing rather than so many things at once. It might be a lot easier to get things done that way. And the Four of Cups, this can also mean that maybe you need to ignore what people are telling you, or maybe they're telling you not to ignore what people are telling you. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, five of Cups, this is saying that you may be focusing too much on what's not happening and what's not working out for you. And it's like, you know, if you would just turn around and see that, you know, he has all this stuff. Sorry. But if you just turn around and see that he has other stuff, there is a bridge behind him, there's a castle behind him, and he has so much more, but he's just focused on the things that are not working out for him. It's like, you know what I mean? If you lost something or something left, it's like, let it go, because something else, you know, you still got other things, and other things can now come in, because now you have more space. It's a, the ending of a draining situation. Definitely stressful, you can be feeling stabbed in the back. Um, this can also be saying that if you're dealing with somebody like this and you're still with them, it's like, you know, 
Maybe I feel like it might be also ongoing, like back and forth, right? Good and bad, good and bad. If so, it's like, you know what I mean? Stop allowing this person to keep on doing that to you. The bottom of the deck is the sun. So there is happiness coming in for you. The outcome, the king of swords, seeing clear, cutting people out who don't belong anymore, people who don't serve you, people that have no meaning in your life anymore, you know, like people that are not worth your time. That's kind of mean to say. Okay, sorry. Um, Nine of Cups, it's like your wish is going to be granted. Whatever that you've been working on, whatever you're asking or praying for, it's like, or manifesting, it's like, you're going to get it. I feel like you just need to cut somebody out of your life first, uh, or something out of your life first. Something is in the way of what you're trying to get. And once you see through, it's like, then you can cut them off, cut it out, whatever it is, and you'll be fine. The death card at the bottom of the deck, an ending, definitely an ending, but there's also a sun in the card, so it's just saying, you know, after the darkness, the sun the sun still comes up, okay? So it's like, don't worry yourself, don't stress and think that, you know, it's the end, because nothing is the end, okay? Some things end, but that's only because we need to have other new beginnings, all right? They just need to make more room for that. Mystic Healer, okay? So you're definitely somebody who has a lot of and rejuvenating raining. Clean the, clear the I can't talk. Clear the past and heal the present. All right, rejuvenating rain. This is just saying you know, let go of what doesn't serve you anymore, and you know what I mean. Um, find the things that do, and this will help heal you. This is also saying maybe you could take some showers and you know try to like heal your or or wash away the negativity, and or just you know what I mean, whatever. Mystic healer, a healing energy flows through you, so you may be like somebody who is a healer, somebody who is like a tarot reader or something like this. Or I feel like you help other people through their tough situations as well because you know what it's like because you've been through it, right? And then you have Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic, which I think you do believe in magic, that you wouldn't be watching this. But it's just like, you know, believe in miracles because miracles happen every single day, alright? Journey by Moonlight, it's like, just go with the flow. Because there is a divine plan. You just got to, you know, <laughs> divine timing. All right. So that's what I got for you guys. Um, I'm going to take my kids in the pool. All right. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. And toodles.